we don't need to speak for him, but I'm actually very curious. How was Sick Nerd before his huge spike in like growth and popularity on Twitch? Because <laughs> what was he all? Because honestly, I didn't I didn't watch Twitch back then. So was he already pretty famous for being? I'm assuming rank one at the time. So so you, are you, are you talking about like the perception around him or like him as an individual? I, I guess both. I'm just I'm really curious because it he just seems like a completely different person now. Just what i uh, remember listening to on like hex's podcast early ones and like such he is so skilling based and now he's just casually plays now yes yeah, so, uh like as a and every everyone changes all the time but uh yeah i mean definitely uh changed a lot from when he was uh you know like one of the top ranked players in the clan or like in the game compared to uh now doing what he does so like he was I mean, similar in that, like, he'd be funny as hell. Yeah. Like, he was still funny <laughs> then, and he's still funny now. Yeah. But I think that he's a little bit more calculate. Like, there, there's a... Now, I wish that I had his job. I, like, there's not... I'm not talking, like, in any, like, ill way. But, like, I feel like even, like, the more that you get popular as a streamer to where it suddenly becomes your career, and you're suddenly making more money than you thought you would ever make you're a little bit more calculated and scripted with just your personality yeah where which, which I, I totally get like that it's a business decision that's what it is it's it's a business but he's i mean he's still funny as hell now funny as hell back then but a little bit more calculated with with it i mean now a lot of people like look at him and he does one thing that he really doesn't like he doesn't really ever talk about oh yeah you know back in the day i was rank one like which you know, like he could, like he could talk about that and milk that, or you know, whatever you want, like, cause that you know is very, imp still very impressive. Yeah. But he do he doesn't he like if you watch his stream, like sit through watch a week of him streaming. He, I bet that he doesn't even mention that he was rank one overall on the game that you're watching him stream. Yeah. So like he's a very he's a very humble gamer. I don't know which one it was because I don't follow Call of Duty, but it was a Call of Duty that came out, and he became rank one in the world at it. Just playing it about i don't know how the ranking system went how you get rank one in it but he yeah, is like so an like actual the, gamer for how those rankings work on call of duty uh i'm a big call of duty mobile guy okay get get, get your lap get your laughs in audience i know i know <laughs> the rankings on call of duty like for how it was that he was ranked is like it's kind of like score based so you know think of it similar to like xp on runescape so like there is like a certain aspect of volume time play yeah however it's a lot more like significantly based on like skill like you and someone else could play you know similar to like runescape like you could be playing for you know 15 hours a day but if one dude's getting you know score streaks left and right you know getting nukes uh 20 kill streaks and just has like a kd uh, five times yours you're never gonna catch him, regardless of how you play. So, I mean, his is a combination of being elite and being able to do it for a long period of time. So, I mean, similar to RuneScapes, but yeah, yeah, very impressive with that Call of Duty. I mean, he's he's like one of the like Mount Rushmore, like Mount Rushmore, uh, like streamers and RuneScape players for sure. Like yeah. Hall of Fame. No, seriously, he and uh, he's proven himself that he's like a true gamer. He probably. You know, had one of the best hardcore Iron Man, which you never would suspect a person that was rank one in the game skilling wise now has a bunch of PVM items on his hardcore Iron Man years down the road and okay. then plays variety games and just dominates at them. When he like quit his main, he gave me a pirate hat. He was giving uh, like gifts away and uh, I, I, I got I got a pirate hat. I, I am curious. He was rank one, but he knew and again i i'm not familiar with how it all was but i i believe vestfold and links titan were kind of like in the shadows they were like truly going to be rank 1 and sick nerd was just kind of like the xp guy getting that rank 1 xp but do you think that burnt him out of kind of skilling was that he just can't uphold this long term or what do you think caused him to just completely burn out uh i think the like accepting and he's admitted this so it's not like i'm like just assume, but like uh he knew that he like couldn't compete with links so he this was uh like january 2015 
Uh, yeah, yeah, January 2015, and we had a uh, like a competition in Hexas, and I would say still probably like possibly the greatest competition we ever had. You know, we had like 30 people competing, and I think like 20 people or so put in like had like more than 100 EHP like weeks. He did fishing, <clears throat> which at that time I think that fishing was based on five ticking at that time, and he was like four ticking so he was getting above ehp and you know uh crystal math lab shows like okay he just gained like a hundred and you know 20 ehp or 110 ehp whatever that number was i have no idea and uh links tight like he had more ehp than links titan during that week which this was during a time uh you know links titan's account during this time was logged in 24 hours a day this was back when you could nmz for uh like six hours straight Yep. Um, and like links would play hours, go to bed, log in NMZ, got things, go to bed, and like his account. Would be. So I think that he was like, okay, I just put up more than links did. There's a real possibility I could just, you know, hold them off forever and be rank one. And then like he left Hexus and uh, to like just put everything into being rank one. And not a month into that, he ended up quitting. Damn. And I, and I think that, you know, kind of the pressure, uh, like, seriously, like, the pressure of Link's Titan. And, I mean, it's unfortunate because, like, he would have ended up getting, you know, second, third, fourth, or whenever, like, if he would have, like, gone on all the way to 200 mil all. The pressure that he put on himself with, with like, looking at it more so as a competition than trying to just have fun with the game. Yeah. Because, like, once he quit then there, I mean, it was a long time before he, like, started up and, like, everything started working out super well for him on Twitch. So I'm kind of curious on Link's Titan. Link's Titan is just this legend that I know. I feel like nobody really knows too much about. He's posted a few YouTube videos of like how he's done construction. And I, I remember one video he did was doing construction, talking about his plans. And one of his videos was like a setup, but nobody really knows whatever happened to Link's Titan. So who like, who is he and how was he so good? And how did he just fly past everyone and seem to be almost like a machine so he's definitely built different so he, you know from sweden and um you know right now he's like in his mid-20s uh, and you know he was like about 20 when he was playing old school he did have uh like a self-admitted and he said that he had a like a mental health uh dis or disorder disability to where like he had to play runescape like Part, um, he had like some it was under like some branch of uh, like Asperger's or autism or something. And I like I know that people like do joke about that. But when it's actually real, it's not a joke. And, you know, part it was uh, one of his AMAs that he had, which I think was in December 2016 or 2017. I don't remember exactly. I was at like an adult version of Chuck E. Cheese when that was going on. It's called Dave and Buck. It's called Dave and Buster's. Oh yeah, we have one of those. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was at, I was at a Dave and Buster's for a for a Christmas uh, like work party, and I was sitting there just on Reddit reading his AMA at this party. <laughs> <laughs> he like had physically or mentally like dependent on playing RuneScape and being in the routine of playing. So I mean that is certainly very different from sick nerd myself or Jace. Or all the other people who you know were top five at the time when he when it was like you could see this tidal wave of Link's Titan coming, and you know really kept to himself. You know he never joined any clans, you know never never joined any team speaks or discords or anything like that. Just kind of a man solo on his mission, doing his own thing, sticking to himself. Yeah, I mean like on top of playing more than everyone else. He was also very good at the game too. So now that he like finished up in, I think it's been two years, two and a half. I have no idea exactly how long. It was like December or January, uh, somewhere around. I think it may have been December, uh, 2018 or January 2019. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, like when he insane. started, when he start, when he started his account, like uh, like on old school, Links Titan was an alt for like his RS3 account, which was like Forsberg 888. Yeah. which ended up being ranked two on RS3. So, like, Link's Titan started off as an alt. So, I mean, like, he was, like, top 100 or top 200 EHP before he, like, actually started playing old school. So, 
I mean, like a lot of people say, like, oh, you know, he he started six months late or he started a year late. I'm not trying to diminish the greatness of, you know, one of the greatest players of all time, but like he didn't like start a whole year. Like he was he was top hundred, top two hundred, you know, what wasn't like completely out of nowhere. Yeah. But like, yeah, once he finished two hundred mil all on RS three, put all that attention onto old school, and it was just no competition. Speaking of people that I guess started late, and again, he was playing that as his alt, but um Sean Bay, I'm unfamiliar with his origins and stuff of how he really got into the game, but apparently when I watched his streams before he was 200 mil all, he would say that he started in 2015. Like he made his account then and somehow became rank three. And so I've heard arguments saying that if Sean Bay had started when Lynx Titan started, that he would have been rank one. What are your thoughts on that? He played a lot. I mean, I don't think he had a year in which he played under 3000 hours. I couldn't confidently say yes or no in either way. Like looking at like the data points, like when he would have started, Lynx would have had like about 3k, 3.3k EHP. And Lynx finished uh, 11 months before he did. And given that during the last like four or five months when Lynx was playing, you know, like he significantly slowed down. He also had like a time period where he didn't play for like several weeks at a time. There's actually a on an old Hexus podcast, Automology made the bold prediction that Link's Titan had burnt out and quit because he did go like multiple weeks without playing back in like 2017 or something yeah, in the summer, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was an extended time that he didn't play. Uh, so I would say, given that he still finished a year in front of him, and that like he significantly slowed down at the end, that if Lynx was gonna try to compete, nah, he wouldn't have been able to, even with starting when he did. I mean, if anything, he would have been able to beat Jace. Yeah, but not, but not Lynx. No, crazy. He's a machine, <laughs> literally. And the craziest part is to finish a year or so ahead of everyone team. else. Yeah, like and, and like when he when he finished, you know, like after he finished, then people started like doing all these room crafting methods in which they started getting twice the rates of what they did. So like yeah. he did solo lavas for three thousand hours. You know, like the guys that finished behind him, you know, used runners. 